why. You saw the title of the video, why did I do it? Well, oh yeah, I guess that's why. <laughs> so when I prepared for my interviews, I spent at least three hours a day, even on the weekends, preparing for Lee Code style problems for around three months. This was while I was working full-time at IBM and taking a class for my master's at Georgia Tech. Yes, I sacrificed sleep. Yes, I sacrificed my non-existent social life. And yes, I probably studied Lee code style coding problems for around a thousand hours. So I wanna reflect on my journey and talk about what helped and didn't help. When I first began my prep, I was first rusty on data structures and algorithms in general since, believe it or not, my day-to-day -day as a full-time software engineer did not include inverting a binary tree. So I initially decided to refine my understanding of data structures, which, if you don't know, are computer science concepts that you can use to solve algorithms efficiently. I stumbled across William Fizet's YouTube channel for this, which I found to be a very good resource for data structures. He is actually a Googler himself, and I definitely recommend his channel if you're looking for data structure resources. As I reviewed data structures, I also started solving algorithms and cracking the coding interview for the specific data structure I was reviewing. Cracking the coding interview has sections that give a brief overview of a data structure and then covers popular and important interview questions for that data structure, so that came in handy. I found that solving problems specifically for data structures helped reaffirm my understanding of them too. However, I did quickly come to realize that I was wasting way too much time trying to solve the problems. So I decided to start pseudocoding a solution in like 10 minutes or less, and then I would just thoroughly read over the book's very in-depth solution to make sure I understood it. This really helped me level up fast, and I recommend that is how you should at least initially approach LeetCode style questions. Eventually, you should try to also solve problems correctly in a short period of time as well, but there's just no point in trying to fully solve problems in the beginning when you are at your worst at solving problems. Working through a bunch of problems and solutions quickly at first will save you so much time and get you so much further along. Once I got through all the data structure sections in cracking the coding interview, I branched out to other important topics in the book, like recursion, dynamic programming, sorting, and searching. After that, I was ready to just start solving more problems, so I gave AlgoExpert a try. You can check out my whole review on that, but I found it to be a helpful resource because it was just a curated list of interview questions from a Google software engineer. As I continued working through questions, I started to see previous or very similar questions to the ones I already solved. This became even more apparent when I started working through Beline 75 and elements of the programming interview. All these different resources just offered more curated questions that people found important, which is why they were helpful. I also tried out Grokking the Coding interview from Educated.io, which was actually a really helpful resource because it pointed out some important coding interview question patterns. Each passing day, I felt more comfortable solving interview questions, which meant it was working. Going through all that took me probably a little over two months. At this point, I was already interviewing, so I just spent the rest of my time solving the top LeetCode questions for the companies I was interviewing for. I also reviewed any questions that I found were difficult for me the first time going through them, and I actually found most of them to be pretty trivial the second time around. The main takeaway from this is interview prep will take time, which is a sacrifice, and everybody is different. I'm sure some people could have done half as much as me and end up with the same job, while others require doing even more than what I did. And part of this is because interview success also comes down to luck. There's no exact list of problems you can do to just magically pass every interview. You're hired. But if you keep improving and working at it every day, it will continue to improve your chances and eventually pay off. So don't worry about Chad, who is bragging about all of his internship offers that required him to solve two sums. Just know if you put in the time and effort, your opportunity will definitely come.